That looks so beautiful! I like it! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel! I am Silky and in this video I will show you three looks with the Anniversary Palette by Kat Von D. You have requested some eye looks and I have created a purple look, a mermaid one and also a green eye look and I hope that you will like them. I will also give you my thoughts about the eyeshadows at the end of the video. Share this video with a friend that likes colorful makeup looks. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell to get notified for my latest videos. And without further ado, let's get started with the looks! For my brow and highlighter, I will use the highlighter by Becca in Moonstone with an eyeshadow brush by Essence. With brush 221 by Zoeva, I will take eyeshadow Gina and I will apply it into my crease. And I always start from the outer corner and I bring the color into my inner corner. I also blend it towards my brow bone so everything is very smooth. And don't be afraid to also bring the color on your eyelid. We're going to apply darker colors, so this one will not be very visible. Next, I'm taking an eye pencil by MAC. This is in the color Stubborn Brown. You can use any eye pencil that you have, a creamy brown color. You can also use a black color. I prefer a brown color, so we can make it a little less intense. The eye pencil will be the base for our purple eyeshadow that we're going to apply on top of it. I will apply the brow pencil very close to my lashes and I will also try to fill them in because I want this area to be very dark and intense and very very lightly I press my eye pencil on my eyes and you can see that I have some spots without pencil I will also blend it with a brush so don't worry about that and also I will take it a little bit on the eyelid. Next I will take a clean eyeshadow brush by Essence. This one has synthetic bristles. It is always better to use synthetic bristles when you want to blend cream products on your eyes because that way it will also be easier for you to wash your brush later. And this will be the base for the purple eyeshadow that we're going to apply on top of it. And we want this to be very very smooth, otherwise the eyeshadow will not look very well blended on top of it. With the same eyeshadow brush I will take eyeshadow Catherine and I will apply it all over my eyelid. And you can see that the color is much more intense. With the tip of my brush I will also try to blend the eyeshadow a little bit in my crease. After that I will take my 2 to 1 brush and I will blend the edges. I will take the brush 225 by Zoeva and the eyeshadow Adele and I will try to blend it in the outer crease. You can see the difference between the two eyes. This is more uplifted and this is more droopy and sad. I will take my brush 221 by Zoeva and the eyeshadow Gina. I will blend the edges of my brow bone. I will take a smudging brush by Essence and the eyeshadow Adele and I will apply it in the outer third of my lower lash line. With the same smudging brush I will take eyeshadow Catherine and I will apply it in the inner lower lash line. With brush 225 by Zoeva I am taking eyeshadow Nancy and I apply it only in the outer crease. With a smudging brush by Essence I am taking eyeshadow Ashley and I will blend the edges of my lower lash line. With an eyebrow brush by Essence I will take eyeshadow Adele and I will apply it very close to my lashes. In my waterline I will apply a black eye pencil by Tommy G Cosmetics. For mascara I will use Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics. I have also applied with brush E30 by Sigma eyeshadow Alexandra in my inner corner. On my lips I will apply lip pencil by MAC in Boldly Bear and I will apply it as a base all over my lips. On top of that I will use high shine gloss by Marc Jacobs in the color Love Buzz and I have lip swatches for a lot of these little guys. I will have a card here. It is the latest mini set by Marc Jacobs. I decided to use a more natural color for my lips because the eyes are more intense. You can always use a darker color if you like but I think I like this very much. 
for my highlighter I will use Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca in color Moonstone. I will apply it with an eyeshadow brush by Essence. Next I'm going to take eyeshadow Ashley and I will apply it with the brush 221 by Zoeva and I am going back and forth into my crease. I also blend it towards my brow bone so I can have this transition color all over my brow bone. With brush 225 by Zoeva I am taking eyeshadow chat and I will apply it into my crease. I will apply just a little bit of powder because I want everything to be flawless. And after that with whatever is left on the brush I will try to blend the edges. I'm going to do a half cut crease makeup look so to cut my inner crease I will use this concealer by Essence and this is the Stay All Day 16 hour long lasting concealer and this is in the color 20 soft beige I will apply a small amount of product on the back of my hand I will take a Kiko brush this is number 51 and I like this brush for cut creases and I will cut my crease a little bit higher so it can be visible when I have my eyes open. With an eyeshadow brush by Essence, I will take again eyeshadow chat and I will apply it in the outer eyelid. And I clean my brush on a tissue and after that I just blend a little bit the edges. So with the same brush I will take eyeshadow Lifar and I will apply it on the center of my eyelid. Also blend the edges with whatever you have on your brush. Again I clean my brush on a tissue and I will blend the edges of the green eyeshadow. With a sponge applicator like this I will take eyeshadow Egypt and I will apply it into my inner corner and I also blend with whatever is left on my brush. I blend the edges of the two colors. Oh that looks so beautiful! I like it! So as we can see I have lost all of the intensity that I had from my cut crease so I'm going to apply again eyeshadow chat where I have cut my crease to make it crispier and more defined. I will take an angled brush by BH Cosmetics, this is number 10. Also with a smudging brush by Essence I try to blend the edges. For the lower lash line I will take my smudging brush by Essence and eyeshadow chat and I will apply it only in the outer third of my eyelid and I will blend just a little bit the edges. With the side of this sponge I will take eyeshadow Catherine. I will apply it on the remaining lower lash line. In the same way I will also take the gold eyeshadow Egypt and I will apply it into my inner corner towards my lower lash line. So with the same smudging brush I will take eyeshadow Ashley to blend the lower lash line and now I will just remove all of this powder. Next I apply a nude pencil in my waterline to give that doll eye effect. For eyeliner I will use liquid liner by Catrice Cosmetics in Dating Joe Black. If you want to learn how to apply eyeliner I will have a card right here with a tutorial that I have done and with three steps you will have perfect eyeliner. For mascara I will use Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics. For something natural I apply Matte 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 Lipstick by Essence in Natural Kiss. I like this color because it is very similar to the crease color that I applied on the eyes and I think it gives a more wearable finish to the look. And for the next option I will apply these two lipsticks. These are the Matte 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 Lipsticks by Essence and this is in the color No to Mainstream and the other one is Rockin' Princess and I will apply Rockin' Princess in the outer corner of my lips and no to mainstream on the remaining part of my lips and I will blend them very well. So this is the mermaid like option, I hope that you like it. Give this video a thumbs up if this is your favorite makeup look. Let's start with the third look. For my brow bone highlighter I will use the Glow Baked Metallic Highlighter by Essence with an eyeshadow brush by Bella Pierre and I also blend it with my brush. After that I take eyeshadow Sylvia with brush 221 by Zoeva and I apply it into my crease. This eyeshadow just gives a very nice warmth to the skin because I will use more cool toned eyeshadows today. I also blend it into my brow bone. 
After that, I take eyeshadow Lala with brush 225 by Zoeva and I blend it into my crease closer to my eyelid. At first, I place my brush into the outer corner and after that, I bring it towards the inner corner. I will apply a second layer. With an eyeshadow brush by Bella Pierre, I take eyeshadow Kelly and I apply it all over my eyelid. This eyeshadow is more visible when you apply it with your finger. With a smudging brush by Essence, I take eyeshadow Caroline and I apply it in the outer lower lash line. With no additional product, I blend the edges of the lower lash line. With a pencil brush by Sigma, I will take eyeshadow Egypt and I will apply it in the inner lower lash line. I also apply a little bit in my inner corner. After that, I take eyeshadow Sara with an angled crease brush by Essence and I apply it into the outer corner of my eyes. Also blend it a little bit into the outer crease. With brush 221 by Zoeva, I take eyeshadow Sylvia and I blend the edges on my brow bone. With a smudging brush by Essence, I take the same eyeshadow and I blend the edges of my lower lash line. With an angled brush by Sigma, I take eyeshadow Adele and I apply it very close to my lashes. For mascara, I will use the Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara by Essence. On my lips, I apply matte 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 lipstick by Essence in the color natural kiss you can also see two more looks with this eyeshadow palette I will have a cut here with the video the green blue eyeshadows from this palette they don't blend very nice into my skin they don't stick on my skin and they look a little bit patchy they are not blendable as I thought they would be the warmer eyeshadows they blend a little bit easier the shimmery eyeshadows are not very intense unless you apply them with a sponge tip applicator or with your fingers and most of the times I don't do something like that I use a dry brush also I had some fallouts from the micro glitter that some eyeshadows contain like eyeshadow Alexandra and Egypt Overall, I didn't like this palette. I think it is expensive for the quality of the eyeshadows that you get. And I'm not very impressed with this eyeshadow palette. Give this video a huge thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below what is your favorite eye look from this video. If you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!